Welcome to Sketching Scotland, a series of tutorials to help you draw our beautiful country. Today, we are going to be drawing one of the most iconic Scottish landmarks and a marvel of Victorian engineering, the Forth Bridge. If you're going to be doing lots of sketching, I would recommend you buy a few essentials. A hardback sketchbook and a range of pencils, pencil sharpener, a rubber or an eraser if you're from across the pond, a good seat and desk, kitchen table will probably do the trick, or you can draw on a tablet, as I'm doing on this demo. But all you need are the three Ps, paper, pencil, and a bit of patience. Okay, it's fair to say this one is pretty complex. So we're gonna start with the basics, get your horizon line sorted. Then we are gonna draw three vertical lines, which give us the main points of the bridge. Then we're just going to block in stone section of the bridge just at the front. So we'll just get the basic shapes of all that. And this is all just getting us the main building blocks of the bridge. So getting the base of that blocks and then we will go in and draw the main sections which is basically will give the bridge its iconic shape. So sort of three triangles at the top. We're then going to draw the bottom bits. And that really will begin to give us the basic shape of the bridge that you will recognise. And we are going to just draw in the feet of the bridge. Pretty sure that's not the name of it. <laughs> And then this little bit of the harbour, um, so this little bit of harbour, I guess where actually you can get a boat trip um, around the Forth. Very lovely, I've done that myself. Um, we're then going to go in more detail and add in all the support beams. And obviously the massive feature of the support beams, there are lots of them. But spare a thought for the people who built the bridge, because there are 6.5 million rivets that went into this bridge and they were all put in by hand, which is absolutely crazy when you think about it. So quite a task here just to put in all the different support beams, but this I find quite a fun part. You can kind of add as much detail in here as you want. Once you've got all the beams in, I'm then just going to go over, add some darker lines just to kind of give the overall bridge shape. Yeah, it is a lot of steel. It's 54 thousand tons of steel which is about the same as the titanic so just to give you an idea of the scale of the bridge so i'm just going to go over each of these these shapes fill them in and mostly a lot of straight lines here to draw so you can use a ruler or you can do it freehand and it doesn't matter if it's a little bit wonky a nice tip for getting straight lines uh, if you're drawing it freehand is try to lock your wrist and elbow and try and move your whole arm in one sweeping motion nice way to get nice straight lines but i always think if things are not quite perfect they're actually are actually much nicer So once we've got the lines, we're going to add in some detail into the background, just some of the hills in the background, and then some of the supports at the bottom of the of the bridge. Just add in those kind of details. 
still to go into a bit of detail into the water and then just adding some of the supports in the background uh, you can see I'm kind of rubbing out some of them don't I always get them right and they kind of maze the kind of uh, cross hatching of effects I think this is where it can be quite loose and you can kind of give a bit of artist impression there and then we're going to draw in the harbour and just fill in some details in there and this actually goes right into the water so you can get kind of walk right down get really close it's a nice little spot if you want to actually see the bridge um, lots of spots you can see the bridge really nicely this South Queen's Ferry is a really nice spot there's lots of different places you can see it within the South Queen's Ferry North Queen's Ferry as well other side of the bridge uh, you can even see it from Blackness Castle which is a few miles down the Forth um, one of the locations for Outlander and you always get a really nice view when you're flying into Edinburgh as well so I'm just going to add a little bit more detail a little bit of shading and just keep on adding a few more of the cross hatching lines just going to add a bit more detail into the brickwork um, I love this part of the bridge it's a beautiful brickwork right at either end you can see the sort of trains flying through that little archway and the actual train line goes all the way up to Aberdeen so it's kind of the gateway to the northeast of Scotland goes all the way via Fife and into up to Perth, Dundee, Aberdeen so you can kind of get right to the far reaches of the north I'm just going to fill in a bit more of the detail into the background here, just fill that in and they used to paint the bridge not do this anymore but they used to paint it, used to take by the time they'd finished painting the bridge they'd have to start it again it was kind of known as the job that never ends but they stopped that because they got some um, fancy new painting techniques and so I think it's going to last for quite a while it makes it all the better because it doesn't have the scaffolding on it so it makes it look much nicer just adding a little bit more of the shadow and then just a little bit more of the detail and at this point you can kind of go in and put as much detail in as you want add a few more clouds or not, not many clouds depends they actually went up the bridge one time uh, for a charity event they do it every so often where you can kind of go up where the engineers would, would go up and inspect the bridge and they open it up to the public for, for charity and the day ad went up it it was beautiful, beautiful sunshine there was less clouds than what I've drawn here and the plan is to actually have a viewing platform in the future hopefully in the next few years so that anyone can go up and take in the views it is quite spectacular and this one really is nice to go in with a bit of colour um, colour pencils or watercolour really doesn't do it justice unless it's in full vibrant colour and that's it you have just drawn a UNESCO World Heritage Site the fourth bridge when you've completed this one why not try sketching another location we'd love to see your sketches so please send them to us using the hashtag sketching scotland it's not quite the same as being here only in scotland can you appreciate the full beauty of these types of sites but it should keep you busy until you can come and sketch in person for now happy drawing <laughs>